Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the, the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. I hope you're well Virgo. So I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux and um, many tarot cards for this reading and we'll pull an oracle card at the end. So what do we have for Virgo, please? Our lovely Virgos. Uh, and it will be 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, please. Angels, Spirits Guide, thank you. What do we have for Virgo? Message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo, thank you. I have the Four of Swords, Virgo. So we pull three cards, you know, by now, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, Virgo, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, starting with the challenge position. 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, please. Message for our lovely Virgos, thank you. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021, please. Okay. Can we have the first card, please? Oh, thank you. Seven of Wands is your challenge. Four of Cups, Virgo, is advice from Spirit. Page of Swords is your near future outcome. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Virgo, please. Message for Virgo, please, for the week. Third to the 9th of May 2021, please. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you, Angels, Spirits, Guides. Okay, Virgo, I have the Hierophant and the Ten of Wands. Four of Cups, we have the Three of Cups. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles here. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. The Star, very nice energy there, Virgo. I'm going to clarify this Four of Swords as well. Can we clarify the Four of Swords for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 3rd to the 9th of May 2021, please. Can we clarify this Four of Swords? Two of Pentacles. So you're giving some thought to a situation, Virgo. You know, and the pentacles energy is your energy, it's earth energy. How you want to practically move forward, it feels like a choice between two paths. There is a lot of thought, contemplation. You see in the distance, you can see that it's almost like the Knight of Swords there in the top right hand corner. It's like a ghost of it. And this person is giving thought, how am I going to take action? Which direction am I going to go in? How do I bring change to my circumstances? And what is that change going to look like? And it, it, you know, the sword is to do with the mind, our perspective, our thought patterns. Um, this can be linked with recovery or taking a break or a breather um, to get perspective, you know? It feels in this energy you're just weighing up two possibilities here. Because something is hard. It's an effort. It's a challenge. 
This can also be about standing up for what you know to be right, standing up for what you know to be true. It's a card of perseverance, even though there is a, a challenge or there could be opposition. This is somebody who is instinctively doing what they know is right, can be for them. Um, it's the brave heart energy and it feels in this situation, I'm getting brave heart energy quite heavily. Um, it's somebody who will, who will stand up for what they know to be right, regardless of what the opposition is. You know, and they will persevere on that path. And you can see that overcoming that which challenges them because they're on higher ground than that which challenges them. And what are you being challenged on? Well, it feels to do with something. I mean, the, the Hierophant can be about institutional energy. So a traditional institution, so marriage, family institution, education, religion. Um, you're burdened. You know, you want to release the burden. There's a feeling you want to release the burden. You know, the ten of, of, of wands is a completion. Somebody has carried this weight. The, the wands is, is something that has built up over a period of time. Like I said, it can be to do with a committed relationship, marriage, um, some kind of institution. This is also a card of having faith as well, Virgo. Um... But it is an energy of, you know, I want to put down these wants. I want to release the burden. And certainly in the challenge position, this is somebody who, yeah, it's not going to be easy, but this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go. Um, yeah, and it, it just feels in this energy uh, that there is some kind of decision to make that even though it feels like there will be some opposition or challenge or you may have been challenged and that's what brought you to this there's definitely this energy of I'm going to persevere and I want to see it through there's a resoluteness with the seven of wands uh, this is the path that I'm going on and, and I want to overcome this I want to see something through because it's just too hard it's too burdened The Four of Cups is a card of deep thought and it's also a card where you feel apathy, boredom, stagnation and you're giving deep thought to how you want to move forward and obviously there's four cups, four possibilities but intuitively you know there's one route, instinctively you know there's one route that you want to take. Um, this is the Divine Nudge card, you know this is about what is your instinct telling you and trusting that. Now, somebody could be offering you a cup as well. Somebody could be offering you um, something. Um, it's interesting in this energy, though, with somebody crossed armed, crossed legs, it's whether you want it or not, you know? It feels, it feels in this situation there's some decision to make because even though you might be offered something here, you don't know whether you want it or not. And intuitively, instinctively, you know the path that you want to take. You know how you want to move forward. Your instinct is telling you everything. The Three of Cups. It can be community. So it can be an energy of, of your community, your tribe, your... Um, it can be about communication with friends, your tribe, your um, people who you're emotionally connected to, Virgo. I'm getting in this energy here. It can also be about finding closure, but I'm definitely getting in this energy, Virgo. You might be asking for advice from somebody, a friend or your community. You know, your community could be your family, it could be your friend circle, um, it could be your tribe, you know, I mean, call it what you will. You know, uh, it just feels in this energy that you are, you might be asking advice from somebody here because there's definitely an energy of, intuitively you know which way to go but it might well be for some of you some conversation or communication is going to bring clarity to the situation
The Nine of Swords is a card of stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, something stressing you out, preying on your mind, weighing your mind down. Um, it's somebody who is preoccupied with negative thoughts um, and they control them. The negativity is controlling your head. And this is the situation, Virgo, in terms of something is stressing you out, it's causing you a challenge, it's weighed you down, you know, for far too long here, and you want to put down the weight. You might be asking advice from somebody here on how you move forward, but it's to, to, it's to, cut, it's to cut cords with this, it's to cut cords with, you know, the Nine of Swords. You know, I need change. It feels for some of you in this situation, you want to get some clarity in how you want to move forward. I mean, that could be a decision. It could be the communication or conversation that you need to have that deals with this situation. I mean, whatever this is, it's almost kind of like, finally, I have the truth here. This is how I want to deal with this situation. Um, it can also be to do with the truth that's stressing you out as well. But it feels in this kind of energy, it, it feels like this kind of wind of change. Finally, this is the way I'm going. You've been thinking about something and there is some kind of moment of clarity um, where you just see the clouds part, the blue sky, the crystal clear thought. This is what I'm going to do. This is the way I'm going to go. You know, and the pages are generally the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, but it feels like some new idea, some moment of clarity that you're getting in all this confusion to deal with this Nine of Swords energy. Because the star is also clarity, you know, the star is, I mean, you see the blue sky here. This is a card of, of hope, um, faith, renewal, reasons to be optimistic. Blessings from the universe. And I'm getting in this situation, Virgo, for some of you. It feels like there, it feels like this situation you want to focus on. I'm getting this new dream energy. This is a card of dare to dream as well. Divine wish fulfillment, dare to dream. Because we have the Ace of Pentacles here, which can be. A new beginning in your conscious reality. Now the, pay, the, the, the Ace of Pentacles can be about manifesting a new path. And it feels in this situation you're being given a helping hand from the universe towards a new path. This can also be to do with financial opportunity, career opportunity. It's very good also in terms of moving, relocating, maybe a decision to move, relocate. And there's definitely an energy that whatever this Ace of Pentacles is for you, it can just be actually physically manifesting a new path, you opening a new door in your conscious reality. The star is saying, you have no need to worry. This is absolutely why you're being guided to by the universe. Um, this is the way you need to go. You know, it, it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Virgo. But it feels like there is some clarity that you need on a situation. You've been giving some deep thought to something that's built up over some time. And I feel that you've been giving some deep thought for a while on something and how you move forward. There are two paths here. And it feels like finally you're making the right choice or you're getting the clarity, the illumination, the mental clarity on which way you want to go, what path you want to manifest. Because we have two pentacles here. And then I definitely feel for some of you, this is the choice that you're making to manifest a new path, whatever that is for you. Um, it's what's of value to you. You know, the pentacles is what's of value to you. What is going to bring you stability and security in your life? Can be your relationships, your money and career, your home, your property, your health. But there is new hope associated with this Ace of Pentacles in manifesting that new path. And that is what you're being told. It feels finally you're making a decision between two paths. You've given it a lot of thought and this is the direction that you're going. 
So final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo. Okay. I like the inner child energy um, because it, it's almost kind of, it's, it's kind of like a, it's a, in a way it's, it's reconnecting to the happiness, the innocent joy, um, you know, seeing the world of wonder again, you know, and it, it just feels like some of the energy is coming back to you. Uh, we have the fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. And here's the thing. The Four of Swords is getting clarity of the mind. You know, the Four of Cups is to do with the heart, emotions, feelings. And it definitely feels for some of you, you're getting that clarity in how you want to move forward now in your actual reality. And that is a beautiful thing. Um, because you don't feel stuck anymore. You know, this is about understanding which way you're going to go. And deep down, intuitively, there is an energy of spirit is leading you to this Ace of Pentacles, to the path that you're meant to be on. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.